Hey guys, me, Reynolds, Chris Tomer here with the Sunday Mountain Weather Update, and it is another powder day across a lot of the Tetons, the Wasatch, parts of Colorado. Uh, here are the uh, the cams this morning from Jackson Hole, reporting another 7 inches in the last 24 hours. That's close to 2 feet of snow over the last uh, 3 days. I mean, it is going to be a spectacular day there at Jackson Hole. Um, let me take you to Colorado. This is Loveland Ski Area, reporting about 5 inches of new snow in the last 24 hours. Uh, so that puts you at like uh, potentially close to a foot over the last couple of days. And for all these locations, there's a third final shot coming between tonight and tomorrow, along with some very strong winds. So we're not done yet. Tomorrow's going to be another powder day. Um, here's out to ski area seven in the last 24 hours. Storm total now at 29 inches. And again, you have another, the final shot, another shot of snow coming uh, tonight into tomorrow. Season total 140. Um, so beautiful morning. Look at that color there. A low on the action now, just waiting on the next batch. And at uh, Solitude, reporting about six inches of new snow. You're in line for another shot of snow tonight into tomorrow as well. Here's the uh, the radar across the west. So a little bit of leftover snow over the Tetons, some snow in Idaho, northwest Montana. But notice to the west, that's the final storm system hitting the west coast. Parts of uh, central and northern California from Tahoe North up to Oregon, Washington. That whole area, that whole storm system is going to slide in tonight and tomorrow morning. And, and right over the top of Utah, Idaho, the Tetons, and the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Up in the northeast, it is a rain event today and tomorrow. So it's all rain. It's too warm for snow. Your next chance of snow comes in with a cold front on 1-1. So the first day of the new year, continuing into the second, we could see several inches of snow accumulation out of that. Okay, let me give you the lay of land. So here is the water vapor satellite imagery. And you can see it. Here's our final storm system rotating right here, pushing in a lot of moisture out ahead of it. That's what you were looking at on radar. So the whole thing is going to kind of slide into the interior this afternoon, tonight, and tomorrow morning and kind of run right through there. So you're going to have additional heavy snow, moderate to heavy, through Idaho and uh, the Tetons, the Wasatch, the High Uintas, and the central and northern mountains of Colorado. So that is on the way. Okay, here are my bullet points. One more surge of snow coming, and it's going to bring strong winds with it of 40 to 80 miles per hour as this thing slides through. And you're going to see with the jet forecast in a minute why it's going to bring a jet streak, a surge of higher winds with it um, late tonight and throughout the day on 1230 on Monday. Um, so tomorrow's going to be a powder day, but it is going to be very windy. Um, in the northeast, you've got rain today, and there's your snow chance, 1-1 one, one, and 1-2. One, and between 1-1 one, one and 1-6, one, it still looks like the pattern is going to stay put and kind of favor many of the same areas, uh, maybe slightly further north, but Pacific Northwest, Idaho, Montana, Tetons, and the Wasatch, and possibly parts of the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Okay, here's my snow timeline. Best odds of snow for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, Interior, BC, and the northeast. So, for example, in the Wasatch, You've got another shot of heavy snow coming this afternoon, tonight, and throughout the morning hours tomorrow, along with strong wind. Light 1112, and then heavy potential 1314. In the Tetons, it just keeps on snowing all the way through tomorrow morning with some strong winds. There may be some breaks at times today, but uh, the snow will continue into tomorrow morning. Um, heavy on 1-1 one, one and 1-2, one, so target it again on 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, and then heavy again, 1-3, one, 1-4, one, 1-5. One, so, I mean, you can see how the pattern just continues to favor the Tetons. And in Colorado, I'm not going to go through all these, but in Colorado, your final shot of snow comes through um, this afternoon, tonight, and into tomorrow morning, and then there are some additional chances um, down the road. So let's just drill down a little bit here. So this is snow mass. The forecast mediagram for snow mass in Colorado at about 12,000 feet, so pretty high up. Um, so a tiny bit of leftover snow early today, but then there's a big break in the action for a lot of today. So we're just waiting. The next shot of snow comes in late tonight and tomorrow morning. So here's the 29th, there's the 30th, there's the 31st, and there's the first of the new year. So late tonight, tomorrow morning, and this cranks out about four inches of snow. I'd say anywhere from four to eight inches of accumulation because there's going to be a lot of wind with this that helps to kind of drive the snow production. You can see a lot of the gusts leading up to this this afternoon, 45 to 50 miles per hour, and then they go even higher tomorrow morning 
up to potentially 60 miles an hour. So that's what I'm talking about. This final surge of snow is going to bring strong winds, and then things really settle down after that. And it does turn quite cold. By late on the 30th, we're below zero. Four below zero late on the 30th. And the 31st is, man, that's going to be a cold day with highs at about zero to five above. And that may be the case early on the 1st with temperatures below zero uh, in the morning hours. And again, that's snow mass at about um, 12,000 feet. Okay, here is Alta. So this is Alta, uh, Utah, um, and this is at about uh, 9,000 feet. So there it is. There's your reading, uh, effective 9,000 feet. So um, you're really in a waiting game for the rest of today. Your snow comes in tonight and continues tomorrow morning. So most of the day waiting. Here comes the snow tonight, tomorrow morning. Wind gusts up to potentially 50 to 60 miles an hour as this thing blows in, this cold front. And this is forecasting about nine or 10 inches of accumulation out of this, this final surge. And again, there's more snow down the road as well, but this is the final surge of this storm cycle, and that's Alta. So pretty applicable to uh, snowbird, solitude, and bright. So tomorrow, bottom line is gonna be another powder day across a lot of the, uh, uh, the Wasatch. Okay, let's do jet stream forecast here. Haven't done this in a few days. So basically what I'm looking at right here on this jet stream forecast are the brighter colors. The brighter colors represent the higher wind speeds up at about 30,000 feet. So this is jet level. This is your steering winds for a lot of these storm systems. Um, so this is at about 5 a.m. this morning. Let me uh, run up to about lunchtime. So here's lunch. Now look at California. There comes our next surge. Our, our final storm system this, of this cycle with a jet streak, a, a core of higher winds. So that's moving in. And look what it does by late tonight. It's starting to target Utah. You're on the northern periphery in the Tetons, but still getting good aura graphics. And that's starting to nose its way in to the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Okay, here we are on Monday morning early, still cranking out snowfall a lot, across a lot of Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado in the morning. And then by the lunch hour, things start to taper, but very strong winds. You can see why. We've got, you know, if you look at the numbers on this, you're looking at about 140 mile an hour winds at 30,000 feet. So a, um, a jet streak running through will translate and bring some of that down with colder air. So big time wind gusts through tomorrow. Utah, Colorado, northern New Mexico, parts of Wyoming. Uh, here we are by late on Monday. That's starting to move out. But now look what's coming out of the Pacific Northwest. Here we are on Tuesday, early in the morning. This is the 31st, New Year's Eve. You've got a dip. You've got a, that looks like a small storm system dropping south. And there's probably, here's another one right behind it. So this is midday on Tuesday. Here's late on Tuesday. Here is our New Year's Eve, New Year's Day storm system for a lot of Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and parts of Colorado. You can see the dip running through. So here's early on the 1st of 2025, probably a powder day for a number of locations. Here we are midday or lunch. Let me go back. Here's lunch on January 1st. Okay, let's talk about a few locations within this now that you see what's coming. A Basin, rest of today, through tomorrow, another six to eight inches of accumulation potentially at A-Basin, along with those strong winds. So um, you've got a little leftover snow today, and then the next surge comes in overnight tonight throughout the day tomorrow for A-Basin. You can see that. Vail Pass, similar. Leftover snow today. Next storm system comes in overnight and throughout the day tomorrow with strong winds, six to eight inches of additional accumulation. Here's how that looks. Here's my official forecast. All of today through the first, through the new year, 1-1. Um, one, one. So we'll start in the Sierra, about five to eight inches from Mammoth up to Heavenly, about a foot at Shasta, some rain and snow at Ashland. So you got to be higher up. Um, about a lot of eights up there in Whistler, Baker, Stevens, Crystal, a bit more through Timberline and Bachelor. Uh, light to maybe moderate snow accumulation. Um, through Red Mountain and Kicking Horse and Revelstoke, more in Fernie. 
anywhere from 6 to 12 through Idaho, another 8 to 12 for the Wasatch. Because again, we have that next surge coming in tonight, tomorrow morning. And potentially some additional snow down the road as well for the first. In fact, let me just look at the uh, timeline again. So there you go. There is your timeline for the Wasatch. So heavy snow tonight, tomorrow morning, and then light 1112. So that's how I get to these numbers of 8 to 12 inches for the Wasatch. In Colorado, the, the prime locations are in the central to northern mountains. Um, I was a little bit optimistic with, with Aspen snow mass. It's probably going to be closer to 4 or 5 inches, but we'll see. Maybe we can go 6, 7. About 3 for Crested Butte looking at anywhere from 6 to 7 inches to 8 inches of additional accumulation through Summit County, Vail, Vail Pass, Loveland, A Basin, Keystone, and a lot of Breck. Um, maybe 10 additional inches up around Steamboat, Buff Pass, and Cameron Passes. Again, your next shot of snow. There's a little bit left over today, especially kind of shrouding the Continental Divide. But then the next storm system with the front hits tonight, tomorrow. Um, and potentially another 15 to 20 inches through the Tetons because you're really in line for a continuation of this pattern. Like I showed you with the timeline, um, heavy through tomorrow morning, heavy 1112, and heavy 134 and 5. So it's no surprise you could still pick up another 20 inches of accumulation. Pretty good numbers through Montana. Big sky and uh, northwest, anywhere from 10 to 12 inches of accumulation. Okay, so in the northeast... All of today, and I run this through 1-5 because there's no snow accumulation today or tomorrow. It's all rain. The bulk of what you see here, 6 to 14 inches, occurs on the 1st and the 2nd with some additional 4 and 5. So this is looking way out there, but uh, the potential's there for colder air and snow accumulation, moderate to heavy, 1-1, uh, 1-2, one, 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 4 and 5. All right, guys, we'll end on the big west map here for... Um, all of today through the first, and we still have excellent snow yet to go. Um, at least a couple, maybe three more powder days. Um, the Wasatch, the Tetons, Idaho, Central to Northern Mountains of Colorado, and also parts of Montana. Enjoy it. Be safe out there. Take care, and we'll talk later. Thanks for tuning in.